You'd think that with Blackpink's contract ending in 2023, YG Entertainment would treat one of their most popular groups nicely, right? Well, you could be terribly mistaken. So how is YG Entertainment treating Blackpink members? Is the poor treatment of the four members of the group going to cause them to disband? Let's find out! Even though Blackpink's comeback album, Born Pink, is a huge hit, Blinks have pointed fingers at YG Entertainment. They have blamed the agency and feel that YG Entertainment have shown their true colors by neglecting and mistreating the members. Let's start with the senior member of Blackpink, Sisu. According to fans, the main vocalist of Blackpink, Sisu, was kind of shut out from the latest single, Shut Down. Sisu Shut Down is the most loved, peppy single from the latest album, Born Pink. But the album made news for the wrong reasons even before its release. The disappointment started growing when YG Entertainment arranged the live countdown of the comeback. Blinks pointed out that all the focus was on Jenny. Even Rosé and Lisa were seen during the countdown, but Sisu was nowhere to be seen. Sisu was not there in the thumbnail of the live countdown either. But her absence in the thumbnail of the official music video made fans grow red with anger. Though all four members gave a killer performance in Shut Down, fans complained that Sisu got the least lines and least screen presence in the single. Fans complained that this was not the way to treat the senior member of Blackpink. The same feelings continued when fans listened to the rest of the songs from Born Pink, including the title song. There were harsh comments online stating that Sisu was unfairly given fewer lines when compared to Jenny, Rosé, and Lisa. One netizen expressed, Sorry, not sorry. Sisu has given her all to this group for six years straight, and she's about to get a disrespectful amount of lines in a four-member only group for their first title track in two years as a lead vocalist. Despite Sisu herself saying that she's not sure about releasing solo music, fans sternly believe that YG has not given her the much-needed chance. In fact, netizens have also started demanding that Sisu should quit YG Entertainment. If this is Jisoo's story, here is how fans think Lisa is being mistreated. Lisa Here are incidents that have made Blinks think that even the richest Blackpink member, Lisa, is not being treated well by YG Entertainment. 2019 and 2020 were stressful years in Lisa's career, as she received a lot of hate. It all started during the 33rd Golden Disc Awards in 2019, when Lisa made a red carpet entry. She had to face offensive comments that pointed at her Thai origin and the choice of outfit. The agency had given her a furry top that was not received well by the audience. Even though the agency did not come to her rescue, Blink started supporting Lisa with the hashtag, hashtag RespectLisa on Twitter. In 2020, Lisa received a number of threats, including death threats. The Thailand Embassy in Seoul made it official on its social page. We received a lot of emails and Twitter messages regarding a personal threat posed to Lisa. Even in this case, YG did not alert the embassy. In fact, Lisa's fans took it upon themselves and alerted the embassy. The threats were severe. One of the threats read, Once Blackpink is on the comeback stage, I'm going to shoot Lisa. Another commented, I will kill Lisa. I have my gun already. To this, YG reacted with a statement that said, We will collect and review evidence through regular monitoring data as well as tip-offs from fans and take a hardline response without leniency. Fans criticized YG for not being serious about the issue. As if this was not enough, Lisa got scammed by her manager, who was an employee of YG. After facing a series of death threats, Lisa got scammed to the tune of 1 billion won, which is around 833,000 US dollars. Her manager used Lisa's money to gamble. YG reacted again with a statement, YG will take preventive measures so that this does not happen again. Disappointed fans of Lisa got really furious when they saw Lisa's pictures were blurred out in some of the images taken during one of the agency's promotional photo shoots. Rosé Some incidents point out that YG Entertainment does not care about Rosé as much as it does about Jenny, Sisu, and Lisa. Fans used the picture of the schedule of the Blackpink members to prove their point. The schedule showed that Lisa, who is the main dancer in the group, had 49 solo activities from 2016 to 2020. Jenny had 45 activities to her name. Sisu had significantly less activity, she only had 18 events to her name. But Rosé had even less, she only had 16 activities. 
This did not include brand endorsements or solo activities. When Rosé released her much-awaited solo album, EPR, in March 2021, Rosé initially did not have any major brand endorsements. It took quite some time, but Rosé successfully became the global ambassador of the beauty brand Sarpasu. As fans did not see YG actively promoting Rosé on her activities, they started speaking out about the treatment to Rosé and made hashtag Stay Strong Rosé trend worldwide while sharing pictures of Rosé and showering her with appreciation. Jenny When compared to Lisa, Rosé, and Tisu, it is said that Jenny gets treated better by the agency. Jenny is known as the best-dressed Blackpink member. However, the costume designed for Jenny in the 2020 track Love Sick Girls was heavily criticized. Jenny was given a tightly belted nurse's uniform and a short skirt. She was also seen wearing a nurse's cap with a pink heart. This led to an outrage when the Korean Health and Medical Workers Union condemned Jenny's attire. YG later apologized and said, We express our deep respect to the nurses who were always staying by the patient's sides and fighting on the front lines. Jenny's part of the video, where she was seen wearing the uniform, was edited out. Here is exactly why the four members of Blackpink can't be treated as anything less than princesses. Ever since their debut in 2006, Blackpink has not only created records, but also witnessed a number of firsts in K-pop history. Blackpink is dubbed as the most popular girl group in the world. Here are some other impressive facts. With their latest album, Born Pink, Blackpink peaked at number one on the Billboard 200. Born Pink is not only the best-selling album of all time by a Korean girl group, but also the first album by a K-pop girl group to sell more than 2 million copies. With their track Ice Cream and a collaboration with pop star Selena Gomez, Blackpink peaked at number 13 on Billboard Hot 100, becoming the highest-charting Korean female act. Blackpink is the first Korean girl group to top Billboard's Artist 100. They are also the first Korean girl group to enter and top Billboard's Emerging Artist chart. Blackpink is the first female Korean act to receive a certificate from the Recording Industry Association of America, popularly known as RIAA, for their single, Do 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 Do. Kiss and Makeup, made in a collaboration with Dua Lipa, was a huge hit. With this single, Blackpink became the first Korean group to receive a certification from the British Phonographic Industry, also known as BPI, and platinum certification from the Australian Recording Industry Association, which is known as ARIA. Pink Venom has earned the laurel of being the first song by a Korean group to top the ARIA singles chart, and also to top the Billboard Global 200. The group's 2019 music video, Kill This Love, followed by 2020's biggest hit, How You Like That, became the most viewed music video within the first 24 hours of release. How You Like That even broke three Guinness World Records and set two new records. Thanks to Jisoo, Jenny, Rosé, and Lisa's amazing performances, Blackpink is considered the first music group and Korean female act that successfully accumulated 1 billion views on each of their five music videos on YouTube. Can you imagine being treated badly after bringing such an impact to the K-pop industry? In one way or the other, fans feel that Blackpink members are not getting the attention and care from YG Entertainment that they deserve. What do you think? Which Blackpink member gets the least attention from YG Entertainment? Is it Jisoo, Rosé, Lisa, or Jenny?